What's up guys, my name is Brandon and Apple just released the second beta of iOS 10.3.3 this afternoon after taking the week off last week. And quite a few people actually thought that the final version of 10.3.3 would be released today since we are so close to seeing iOS 11 unveiled at WWDC in just less than a week. But of course, here we are sitting at 10.3.3 beta 2. Now, I would imagine that the final release of 10.3.3 will drop next week, and that will be the final iOS 10 firmware. But again, I mean, who really knows these days with Apple? They're so unpredictable lately. We really just don't know what to expect. But anyways, let's take a look at 10.3.3 beta 2 and see if there's anything new. So let's start with the size of the update and the build number, since both of those, of course, are always new with every beta release. So you can see right here, the size of this update was, it was actually around 60 megabytes if you came from beta one, but if you came from 10.3.2 like I did on this iPhone 7 this time, it's close to two gigabytes, 1.85 gigabytes right there. But of course, that's gonna vary depending on your device. And the build number for iOS 10.3.3 beta two is 14G5037B. So yeah, it's another long one. And you know, I guess there's the possibility of a 10.3.3 beta three, but that would be odd with the iOS 11 beta coming next week. So, you know, it's not very common. I believe it's happened once before, but it's very rare for there to be two betas out at the same time. But we'll just have to wait and see on that. So what else is new with 10.3.3 beta two? Well, since I didn't mention it in the video for beta one, one of the only new additions in 10.3.3 is new wallpaper. So there's actually three new wallpapers for the 12.9 inch iPad Pro. And of course, those have also been posted online since then for anyone to use on iPhones or iPads. But aside from that, I or anybody else hasn't really noticed anything new or changed from 10.3.3 beta one or even 10.3.2. It's mostly just behind the scenes bug fixes, which usually is the case with these point updates, especially point three updates. But you know, the fluidity of 10.3.3 seems about the same as 10.3.2. All apps open and close quickly. Control center is fine. I haven't noticed any kind of crashes or anything like that. Battery life will also most likely be the same, but of course I haven't had time to really test that. You know, it's too early to test that, but I'd assume it's the same as 10.3.2. So does this mean anything for the 10.3 jailbreak? And the answer to that, is no, not really. I mean, Pengu could be waiting for the public release of 10.3.3 to drop before releasing their jailbreak, which would actually make sense because the window would be open for so long, but I would not hold my breath on that one. Apple could also be killing off iOS 10.3.1 sometime today or also sometime later this week, which would have more of an impact on jailbreaking than a beta release. Now I have a new jailbreak update video coming tomorrow where I'm gonna be talking all about jailbreaking, so make sure you stay tuned for that video. And of course it should be obvious, but I just wanna say it again, and do not update to 10.3.3 or even 10.3.2 if you are interested in jailbreaking whatsoever. So there you have it. I wish there was more that was included in 10.3.3. I wish there was more I could show you with 10.3.3 as far as features go, but there just isn't, you know, these point releases, these point updates are just so minor. There's really nothing at all to show. But of course, you guys know I like to keep you in the loop as always with these iOS releases, even with these small point updates like this 10.3.3 update. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, make sure to stay tuned for the jailbreak update video coming tomorrow and I'll see you guys very soon.